so last night when I said I was going to bed, I didn't go to bed. <laughs> I really need to have everything done by like Thursday night, which is in like two days. All right, I had an intro all filmed, but it was completely blurry, so you get my voice. But here are the behind the scenes of prepping for the first shows of the year. I'm so excited. Oh, that was really disappointing. <laughs> oh, wow, these don't snap at all. So disappointing. One thing people may not know about these carved signs that are so popular for us is every frame is cut, sanded, and stained by hand, and then obviously attached to the sign. All right, so I filmed this like three times and I'm really over it. I'm going to bed. It is Tuesday night. It is like only 9.30, but I am tired, as you can tell, by my sleepy eyeballs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bed, but I got all the frames cut that I could. We need to cut down more frames tomorrow. Normally, Jake and I do that like together, but I'm gonna learn how to do it myself. <laughs> So that's just like another thing I need to do. And basically the show is Friday. Well, I need to leave Friday to set up everything. So I really need to have everything done by like Thursday night, which is in like two days, which I can do it. It just might be some late night slash some really focused days. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm tired. The next day. Good morning. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna say late start to the morning, but I had to get some things like kind of prepped and ready. Um, so last night when I said I was going to bed, I didn't go to bed <laughs> right away. I did end up painting some backers, which I'm currently lasering upstairs right now. Um, I'm gonna run the CNC today to do carving and just finish up the frames that I was working on last night. Um, hopefully I can get all of them, I not hopefully, I will get all of them stained and attached tonight so that I can do, or this afternoon so that I can do, can you tell I'm tired? I slept really well, but it's allergy season and I'm stuffy. I'm gonna finish all the frames this afternoon so I can like clear the area and start on like the next batch. Well one, cutting the frames and then hopefully framing up the rest of the stuff that I have ready so that way tomorrow I can sand and stain them and get everything attached by Thursday. That's the plan. Hopefully nothing trickling into Friday. It happens sometimes but I think we're in a good spot. So it's crunch time. Let's do it. did finish staining all the frames as you can see let me get over here and here so now I need to assemble all these little trees onto the signs glue them up and then we're gonna be cutting more frames I have to cut Jake's hair tonight I'm not a barber but like I pretend to be and then he told me we could cut frames so little trading action going on here but I'm gonna work on getting these frames done, eat some dinner, and then do frames. Okay, I'm focused now, I'm ready.
All right, guys, I realized yesterday I was like, oh, I'm fine. I have two more days. I really need to have everything done by like Thursday night, which is in like two days. That is not correct. Today is Wednesday, so I have one more day to like finish all of this. I have a full, full glass of wine to keep me up. It is 1030. Well, to keep me entertained, I guess. Um, <laughs> Sully's here. How you doing, little girl? But we got all the frames cut, so I didn't show the part um, of us cutting it down, but um, basically I started to cut down the frames. Like I said, I'm taking it over from Jake or at least learning how to do it myself, so that way if I it's a pinch and I have to do it myself, I can. It's definitely easier with two of us, um, but I'm a little slower at using the table saw than he is. So he cut the rest of the boards um, and then I got to cut all these frames, probably while he was in bed, sorry Jake. Um, sanding them now. Um, I'm probably gonna try and stain them tonight so that way I can attach them tomorrow. And then tomorrow is the last day to try and get some stuff done. So. Um, technically I can stain and attach in the same day. I don't like to. I like to give the stain, um, enough time to like completely dry. So with like odors and stuff like that. Um, but it can be done and I'm not leaving till like Friday at lunchtime. So technically I could do it, attach it and like let it set out open, um, to completely dry. But yeah, um, so I'm going to be working on that for the rest of the night. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I'll check in tomorrow morning for our chaotic day, last day, for show prep. Hey. I didn't record yesterday. I just have been busy trying to get products done. It is early in the morning, well, not super early. I did wake up early. It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm finishing products. I'm all stuffy because of allergies. I woke up at 5.30, got a couple other things done. So basically I need to finish these, finish backers, get everything packed, pack myself, pack the car. Yeah, we still got a lot to do, so back to work. I like this pattern, but I think I want to try a couple other ones. But they're cute, I mean, they're small. I don't know, I'm trying to get away from small signs, but like if it's a scrap and I can use it as a sign, like why the heck not? So honestly, I could spend like a whole freaking week probably just like going through scraps and making stuff which like I need to do eventually and preferably like not in a super busy time what happened to me last year was it was like Christmas season I had all these scraps I was trying to like clean them up just to like get product but it takes time plus I had to make my normal Christmas product and like show products and it just wasn't it was a mess honestly so I'm hoping that like before actually not hoping I'm gonna schedule it in talking it out loud helps but schedule literally like a week to go through scraps and get out what I can of them because it takes time with the scraps because you have to like position things correctly like if it's on the CNC or the laser you have to like use the space you have which like takes a lot of attention it's not just like I can hit a button and go I have to like position it position the design but yeah I mean if you can make some money off scraps it's great but then I'm also realizing when like the scraps aren't worth it because like I used to save everything and now I'm like okay that's way too small or space for me to like even attempt to really make a lot with this so I'm also trying to let go too but yeah, I think these are cute with some scraps. Like how cute. Um, so with the hexagons, once I do the one, the frames take longer to cut because they're 30 degree angles. But then I attach them, go in and sand the corners because they're pointy as hell, honestly. Um, sand the corners, restain the corners, and then they're done. So that's why they take a little bit more 
love and they cost a little bit more now. I got my totes filled. I was a little worried that not all my totes would be fill, filled. Um, I always just worry that I never have enough stuff. Um, and like as the years progress I like bring more and more stuff but I just always feel like I never have enough stuff especially with this show because in my head I'm like the more stuff I have the better chance I have to sell something aka like make more money because like the chances are higher that somebody's gonna find something that they like but then I just have to remember that my stuff is unique and it's all handmade and I can only make so much so that's where I'm at mentally. Um, I still look crazy. I still look like I rolled out of bed. So I need to like hurry up, get this in the car, fix my face a little bit. And then we're going to be on the road to our drive for setting up the show, Prussian restock. I'll take you guys um, in the car with me. And then we'll probably end a video uh, because I'm going to start a show vlog. Okay, let's do it. Like literally every inch. We got everything in there. <laughs> 